Welcome to the Riviera Hotel and Casino in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And welcome to Perry Maynard's Las Vegas Magic Shop. Now, we always bring you the Las Vegas Magic Show, but today I'd like to try something a little different. My name is Christopher King Vespia, and I'm going to teach a couple of magic tricks to you. First, let me show you the demonstrations on how they look. All right, so you take a deck of cards, and you take it right out of the box. Take the cards, and in front of your friends or family, give them a little shuffle. Okay, take the cards and make a couple of piles right on the tabletop, just like so. Now we got four piles, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up pile number one, and because we have three piles left, I'm gonna take one, two, three cards and move them to the bottom of this pile, and then I'm gonna deal one, two, three cards on top of each stack. Now we'll move on to this stack, and we're gonna take again, one, two, three cards, and then deal with three stacks left, one, two, and three cards. Now, we'll take this stack and deal again. That's one, two, three, and then of course, one, two, and three. Now, we've only got one stack left, so by now you know the routine. It's three stacks left, so we count the same number, which is one, two, three cards to the bottom, and then one, two, three on each stack. Now, starting from the beginning, we shuffled, we made four piles, we dealt three cards from the top to the bottom of each pile, and then subsequently down on top of each pile. Snap, their, snap your fingers or give a magical gesture, and then just like this, watch the magic unfold. One, two, three, and four kings right off the top like that. Now, we're going to take the four kings, and we're going to continue with the magic. We'll take the four kings and get rid of the rest of the cards. We'll lay the kings down onto the tabletop. Now, the kings are in charge of these castles of soldiers. So we're going to deal down 12 cards on top of the kings like so. And these are their castles of soldiers. And the kings decided to go out to battle, so they gathered up their armies just like so. And they decided to go out to war. When the kings were looking for each other at war, they cut through the valleys and they cut through the rivers, they cut through the streams, and they cut through the valleys. And I think I said valleys already, but I guess this is a really open plain. Actually, all I'm doing is just mixing up the cards. They're a little thin to shuffle. And if you were here, if anybody was here, then I would have them say stop. At this point, I think that's good enough. We'll go ahead and deal down the cards again. We remember that the kings were going out to battle, but what do we know about war? War is very bad. So instead of going out to battle, the kings decided that they would decide to go ahead and join one another and join forces and this is exactly what they did was they joined forces and they joined forces right in one row which is right there that's the row right there and just like that all the kings land in one row now this is how you do the magic tricks and i'll show you first thing you're going to do is you're going to start off with four cards of your choice in this case, I always use the kings, being that I am the king of magic. So we're going to take the cards and you put them on top of the deck of cards. This is how you would set up the trick for your friends or family. Unbeknownst to them, you'd have the four cards of your choice on top of the deck and you put the cards back into the box. Now you come out to perform. You say, oh, I'm going to take these cards out of the box. And when you take them out of the box, you go ahead and you give a false shuffle. That means that the kings are on this side. What you're going to do is add a little bit more pressure on this side during the shovel so that the kings maintain the, the top stock there. They're still on top of the deck, as you can see, with your shovel. You can do that once or twice if you want. So then when you go through the four piles, what basically you're doing is you're taking three cards from the top to the bottom, which doesn't really matter. But when you're dealing down the one, two, and three, you're actually going to be covering up the kings with one card there, three to the bottom, one, two, three, one card there, and in the last stack, when you go one, two, three, you'll be burying the kings, which are on the far end, with three cards, just like that. So when you get down to this last pile and you deal the one, two, and three, what you're really doing is uncovering the kings or the four cards of your choice, and when you deal them down here, it's an automatic one, two, three, and four. This magic trick is very easy, 
and uh, was actually uh, the only magic trick that I'd ever seen Val Valentino mess up on Mexican television. He was doing it live, and I couldn't understand why he messed up the magic trick. Anyway, we'll move on to the second one, which is originally entitled The Four Ace Assembly, or one of Four Ace Assemblies. And it's very mathematical, guys. It's a self-working illusion. All you're doing is taking the kings and placing them down. And it's a self-working trick that works every single time you do it. The four cards of your choice are then covered with 12 subsequent cards. And it happens every single time. It's when you gather up the packs that because you dealt across like you were reading a book, that after you take the cards and cut them, which the cutting doesn't even matter, it just gives the illusion that you're shuffling them up. But because we gathered them up straight, when you deal them down again straight across, you've now gone ahead and taken them and picked them up one way, but you're dealing them down the other way, so they're going to wind up in one row no matter what you do. It's mathematical, they don't always wind up in the same row, but as you can clearly see, they're all in the first row here. So those are how you do the two magic tricks, guys. Hopefully you were able to learn something. Once again, guys, be sure to tune in all the time to our magic show right here at the Las Vegas Magic Shop. And we run it right here on the same YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Las Vegas Magic Shop. Thank you very much. I am Christopher King Vespia. Until next time.